So everyone, welcome back uh, for another video. I know it's been a couple of months, um, but I've you know I've kind of lost my my motivation to play this game a little bit, and we'll we'll talk about that. Um, but you know, really, I do have uh, kind of ulterior motives for doing this video. So if you don't really want to hear my opinion on stuff, then you know, feel free to uh, to leave. Nobody's forcing you to be here. Um, but uh, I will talk a little bit about you know kind of the state of the game and, and what I'm doing as an alternative. Uh, this video is, is timely for me. I need to post something by uh, the end of the year to keep my YouTube partner status and I want to keep being able to claim my computer expenses on my income tax. So uh, that's uh, kind of the, the reason for the timing of this video. Again, I haven't really found the motivation to play recently. The one thing that I uh, do maintain is a little bit fun about D2R is uh, grail hunting. For those unfamiliar, grail is trying to find one of every item in the game, obviously set and, uh, and uniques only. Um, some people do grail in, uh, to include runes as well. Um, some don't, I don't think it really matters. Uh, we're probably not setting any records here anyway, but um, grail hunting is fun. Uh, the online uh, component of this game, it's just become, it, it, you know, it's ladder reset, play for three weeks, dead game. And uh, that's because they seemingly put no effort into the game whatsoever. I, I, I can't lie. I, this most recent, you know, whatever, the 22 Days of Terror, like, Blizzard should be embarrassed with themselves. The fact that they actually put a press release out to announce this thing. Honestly, there might have been more work gone into the press release than the actual, like, development of these 22 Days of Terror. It was just, like, absolutely abysmal what they've done. Uh, to think that they've just, you know, tweaked some minor fucking game mechanic. Um, you know, and, and it, it was... I was reading Reddit, and I'm going to be honest, like, the community seemed excited about it. I didn't continue reading Reddit, um, but, you know, I, I feel that this event was a massive letdown, and I would have to imagine that most people do too. Like, double the life day, as if you can fucking die in this game anyway, like, you know, double the life, uh, you know, more melee damage, more magic fine, like, just absolutely pitiful, it requires absolutely no development work on their end, 24 hours of cows, and then 15 minute terror zones, like, just, you know, they, they said it was going to be festive, and then there was, like, absolutely, like, no, uh, you know, whatever, there was, there was no, like, festivity at all there was no they didn't put fucking santa hats on the cows or anything like that they didn't do anything that required any actual development so it was a pretty big letdown and obviously you know this, this game it's just uh ladder resets and, and that's it now and this game has survived on nostalgia for so long and now obviously they're doing nothing because uh d4 is coming out they just do, you know, their their method of making money in this game is not to attract new users it's just to ban botters uh, and then put the game on sale, hope that the botters buy new keys, and, uh, you know, rinse and repeat. So, a um, little, uh, little bit disheartening on the, on the D2R front. Um, now, that said, you know, I, th this game, it was, it was such a great game for so long, and they could have kept it great if they put any, any effort into it, but obviously they moved on to D3, um, which people didn't really take a liking to, and now they're moving on to D4, which I'm sure they'll find some way to, to fuck that up as well, so... Um, you know, down on Blizzard, I think rightfully so, and I think most people are, I, except one of my friends, I always make a joke that he has the best hopium dealer in the world, seemingly endless supply of hopium for that guy, he still thinks Blizzard is going to do, you know, great things, and then they do this 22, you know, days of terror and just absolutely fall flat on their face and disappoint all of us once again, so, um, you know, if you're, if you're like me, struggling to, um, find motivation to keep playing the game um try grail like grail is fun um no online component you know you just play offline and that does add you know uh, playing offline it's a it's a it's a key element one obviously you make sure that you remain solo self-found but two um the map always stays the same and it allows for you know a, magic finding in a different way and, and with great much greater efficiency so you can see like my my grail build you know i've i've found the runes for call to arms and coh and, and, and infinity and fortitude and you know you're able to do that because 
because the map always stays the same and you can do your lower Kurast runs and you know you can grind meth out really quickly. In fact, you can just reset the map by switching difficulties, coming back in, and just, you know, you find that, that Durance 3 that, that's one uh, teleport away kind of thing. So, um, and then Lower Kuras, you know, you find, you find a configuration of Lower Kuras that works for you. So as you continue to kind of grind out and Magic Find, you can do it super effectively. So, you know, Gra Grail is pretty fun. And then um, the alternative that, that I've been doing right now is uh, Path of Exile. So I had never played um, PoE before. This is my first time playing it and I'm having an absolute fantastic time. You know, I'm the type of gamer who um, I want to learn. Um, you know, I want, I want the, I, I always want there to be something for me to learn. Um, you know, that's just, that's me in gaming. That's me in life. And um, you know, people jokingly call it uh, PoE of or PhD of exile. I should say. Sorry, I'm on uh, P8 here, and obviously these are normally. Uh, uh, normally lightning immune anyway that's a bit of a sidebar but uh, you know P, um, poe there, there's so much so much to learn um, which i which i love about the game so um i i do find that that is a great alternative obviously i, I you know i started this uh started this uh youtube channel on the back of uh, pd2 um i i thought pd2 was so revolutionary i didn't realize that they had just taken so many uh so many of the of the features of, of PoE because I had never played it before, and um, so I'm having a, a really great time uh, playing PoE. If any of you guys have any interest in playing with me, just uh, drop me a comment down below. But um, yeah, I mean, again, seemingly uh, an endless amount to learn about the game, and you know they actually patch the fucking thing, and they 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 add uh, they add new elements to the game that that keep it fresh and exciting. So I'm excited to to continue playing that. Maybe some some YouTube content on. On POE in the in the coming uh, months, uh, I simply you know I, I don't know as much uh, as I need to know. Uh, obviously you know my my YouTube channel again PD two but started out really from a educational and uh, you know that that kind of uh, standpoint. So um, I'm not at a point in POE where I feel I can educate anyone. I'm still learning and then you know I, I do feel that there's a, a need for for certain types of content in PoE because um, it is, uh, I, I think at this point, you know, the game's been out for quite a while. So if you are a newbie, you, it, it's hard to find like basic educational content. Now, I don't know, maybe if you went back years, you could, you could find that kind of stuff, but I do find it a little challenging um, just starting out as, as a, uh, as a newbie in PoE. The other thing that I kind of like about PoE is, following a guide does not really serve you that well like it helps like kind of you know get you uh get you across um you know to a point where you can play the game and kill monsters and all that kind of stuff but really the variations in gear um you know make a huge impact on, on the build and so if you think you can just buy uh the same gear as the top guy and uh not worry about all the modifiers that are on the gear and all that kind of stuff then you're you're gonna struggle so um that's a uh, something that that i've you know really come to like about the game as well like you have to theory craft and again theory crafting is kind of um that that's the element of, of video games that i that i really like um and it, you know that's another thing about this game that has just become so stale like there's no variation to the to the hammered in there's no variation to the um uh, to the lightning sorceress, you know, like uh, you wear your griffins, you, you use the skill, you get your infinity, and now obviously the Sunder Charms made the game even fucking easier. I, by the way, I, there was another rant that I had. I found why did they put these Sunder Charms in the game? Like they instead of instead of doing a balance patch and making classes better, they just made the game easier for everyone. And then they made the like obviously they they had um, they had an issue on. Uh, on the first couple of days uh, after they, which again is just fucking, it's so embarrassing for Blizzard, right? Like they're they're so bad, but they, you know, they they accidentally made it have a hundred percent drop rate, so like everyone had a Sunder Charm on like day two of the of the new ladder, like just pure embarrassment. Uh, why did they make them? Why did they make them so accessible? It just put some effort into balancing the fucking game, make some builds better, make some builds worse, add a little bit of variety. I think a lot of people would be very happy with even that minimal amount of effort from them. 
Uh, but instead, they continue to do nothing. They just half-ass everything. And this is Summer Charm. Oh, we'll fuck a balance batch. You know, we'll just make every class viable by uh, by just, you know, throwing in random shit. So, uh, or, or throwing in, you know, the Sunder Charm that, that makes there be no immunities anymore. Like, they just continually make this game easier, it's boring, and nothing ever changes. So, that's kind of my rants about uh, D2R, kind of the state of the nation for me, is just that the game is just, they, they put so little effort into it that it just simply cannot be enjoyed, um, you know, D4, I haven't uh, done a ton of research on it um, so far, but, uh, you know, here's hoping, I guess, that they can refresh it, but uh, really, you know, D2, D2 is just surviving on nostalgia and nostalgia alone, um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, some, hopefully Blizzard can, can rebound, but it seems that they're, you know, they're, they're pretty far gone at this point, so, um, anyway, thanks everybody, um, for, for joining today, um, uh, you know, again, not not much new and fresh content because the game has no new or fresh content. So uh, I've always liked to be educational. There's nothing more I can teach you guys. They don't change the game. So, um, you know, well, I'll, I'll be back uh, with uh, with more videos and, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll pivot to POE a little bit. I'm not sure if any of you guys play. But again, if you do have interest in that, join my channel later. Um, again, wishing you guys all a, uh, you know, very happy holidays. Um, it feels good to be uh, back on the mic and, and just doing this again. So hopefully I can uh, find something to do content for and then I'll uh, see you guys the next time. Cheers.